Are you even digesting your food? Do you still get a lot of gas, bloating, feel like your food's sitting there, diarrhea, constipation? If that's you, then you may not be digesting your food well at all, especially if you have undigested food in your stool. You really want to watch this episode of SC Lifestyle TV all about stomach acid and why it's so good for you. Hey, it's Jordan Reasoner, and welcome to this week's episode of SC Lifestyle TV, where each week we give you one simple, actionable step that you can use towards better digestion. And today we're talking about better digestion. <laughs> and there's something really important I want to talk to you today, about today. I'm going to give you two really important supplements that can help you digest your food properly. Okay, so if you're somebody who's still having gas, bloating, GERD, acid reflux, diarrhea, constipation, that kind of stuff, if you're still struggling with those things, you really want to watch today's episode and consider using these two supplements. So first I want to talk to you about the four triggers of good stomach acid secretion. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, stomach acid is really the most important part of digestion. It's, it's basically step one. I mean, yeah, we chew our food, yeah, our saliva has some enzymes and things in it, but Ultimately, stomach acid is step one in having great digestion, okay? So, there's four triggers of good stomach acid secretion, and this is important. So, when we eat food, there's four things that happen that make stomach acid help you digest food. First is the brain stimulus, so the sight, smell, and taste in your brain of the food that's going in your mouth, okay? That's number one. Number two is the actual expansion of the walls of the stomach. Okay, that also triggers some stomach acid secretion. Number three is the presence of amino acids and peptides, which are primarily found in proteins. And then number three is the rise in the pH level. And this is where it's really important, okay? So pH is the key. Proper pH level is the key to good digestion. Normally the stomach is at a pH around one to two, so more acidic, okay, so one to two. And that's the ideal place it likes to be. Now, when you eat food, I just shared those four triggers with you. When you eat food, the pH level changes. But here's the key. Here's the really important take-home point. Proteins, and more specifically meat, are going to increase the pH level a lot more than regular food. So if you just eat a salad or something like that versus eating some meat, the meat is going to increase the pH level of your stomach quite a bit. Okay, way more than the salad. And this is why this is important. Okay, so when those four triggers happen, and let's say you're eating quite a bit of meat, that pH level goes way up and your stomach starts to secrete gastric acid based on those four triggers. Primarily that your pH level went way up. So your stomach starts to release a lot of gastric acid and primarily that's hydrochloric acid. Okay, and that starts to digest your food. So it starts to break down that meat into peptides and amino acids and other things and it breaks down all your food and the pH level comes back down to a 1 or a 2 where your stomach likes it to be. Okay, and that getting back to a 1 or a 2, that's the trigger for the body to send everything down to the small intestine. Now, here's why that's important. Every single time you eat a meal, you have a different concoction of gastric acid that gets the released. It's like a custom cocktail for every meal you eat. So if you eat a 6 ounce chicken breast and some vegetables, versus a 12 ounce steak and some sweet potato, that's a very different concoction of stomach acid or gastric acid than the first meal. So it's really important to understand that your body creates a custom solution to digest every single meal. And the more meat you eat, the more it's gonna release gastric acid, okay? Now here's why this is really important. When that pH level's perfect, when it's back down to one or two and it goes to the small intestine, then everything else, bam, 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 works perfectly. I'm going to show you this mind map. I made this mind map years ago. I've showed it quite a few times. It's kind of the process flow. It's because I'm a nerd and I'm an engineer and this is how digestion works. Okay, and here's why I want to show you that. So if the pH level is good coming in the small intestine, then you're going to have proper bile salt release. Okay, then you're going to have proper pancreatic function release, brush border enzyme release, and all those enzymes are going to do their jobs properly. All because the stomach did its job properly and the pH level is perfect. And that's really important for you to take home today. So what happens when you don't have enough stomach acid? What happens if that first really critical step is off? Well, you don't digest your food very well. 
so that especially when you eat meat it comes in it doesn't digest well it kind of ferments it sits there the ph level's wrong eventually your body just has to ship it to the small intestine anyway ph level's off everything's off there's fermentation going on enzymes aren't released and working properly bile salts are kind of screwed up everything's just off and you don't absorb your nutrients well you don't break them down far enough to absorb them everything is just totally screwed up and then you end up feeding small intestinal bacterial overgrowth you have a lot of gas and bloating loose stools or constipation happen everything is totally screwed up all because that first step in the stomach was screwed up okay so that's the big thing i want you to take home today is that stomach acid is really critical and if your stomach acid is perfect then that gives the opportunity for your enzyme function to be perfect we break down the food and extract the nutrients from it so if you're struggling with that if you're still struggling with those symptoms you have low b vitamins meaning you're not really digesting your meat very well you have all these signs and red flags that you're not digesting your food well then there's two really important supplements you need to consider right now supplement one is betaine hcl we've talked a lot about it we have a lot of articles about it, but low stomach acid or hypochloridia is rampant in our client database and everybody that we're working with, and myself and Steve included. We've both struggled with low stomach acid. And when you have low stomach acid, you can't digest that meat well and the whole thing gets screwed up. So consider taking betaine HCL. And in the notes to the show, I will link to a great article explaining how to try supplementation with betaine HCL. That's the hydrochloric acid. That's the this is part of the secretion of gastric acid that really breaks down meat specifically. And that's the key too. You really only need betaine HCL when you're eating meat. Supplement number two is digestive enzymes. We recommend digestive enzymes with every meal, okay? Whether you're eating a ton of meat or not, it can really be supportive, especially people who have a lot of inflammation and damage in the gut and they're not getting good stomach acid secretion, those things are really important because if those are off, your enzyme production's off and you'll wanna be taking digestive enzymes. So enzymes at every meal, B10 HCL only with meat and make sure that you understand that if you have gastritis or ulcers or if you're on at a chronic antibiotic usage, then B10 HCL is probably not a good fit for you. If you're also taking PPIs or acid suppressing medications, you really don't want to be taking PP, you don't really don't want to be taking beta HCL either. The other thing to know is that if you're on corticosteroids as well, you wouldn't want to consider taking beta HCL. So there's some warnings that you seem to be aware of, and obviously we're not doctors, but you can read more about it and understand that to really digest your food well, you need proper stomach acid secretion and you need good enzyme production. And if those things are screwed up, your digestion is totally screwed up. So those are why those are the most two the two most critical supplements that we recommend to most of our clients and that we've used for years as well. So that's been your one simple actionable step today from SC Lifestyle TV. This has been Jordan Reister. We'll see you again soon. And and don't forget to share the love. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, share the love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I always wanted to be a rock star. Thanks for letting me be a rock star for a few minutes. Oh, cowboy! That's extreme.